She is the author of Young, Educated, and Broke. And yes, she is from Hawaii and she's here from Los Angeles originally yes, from yes. Diamond Bar. I grew up in Diamond Bar, so a lot of my Asian American advocacy roots started here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, and my family had a vacation home out in the Big Island, so I would go every summer as a kid. And I just absolutely fell in love with the island. I had a real connection to nature, mm -hmm. particularly the archetype Pele, who in Native Hawaiian culture, she really kind of runs that island. Yeah. <laughs> as you know, she's a volcano goddess. I believe that Kababayan today and you are so similar in so many ways. Yes. You know, we come out in LA and also, you know, in Hawaii, but you're, you are really trailblazing. You know, you, you're making a mark for yourself and in the process, you're inspiring other people. Let's talk about the work that you're doing on the Big Island. Sure, sure. That's very exciting, yeah. especially this fitness competition. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So it's been great because I've lost like 10 pounds, mm -hmm. and thank you to the sponsors. I mean, I've gotten all these fitness uh, facilities to sponsor 10 competitors. So on the Big Island, you know, there's a lot of hang loose lifestyle, but That's at right. the same time, you know, we have to look at diet and exercise. We have to make sure that if we're going to be developing these young professionals, they have to look at their mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. For me, I think for a, a balanced leader, you have to have that mind-body connection. So yoga has been a huge thing for me, uh, making sure that I'm running, doing some um, intense interval training, things like that, because it gets my mind right so mm -hmm. that I can go on tour and have the energy um, to do the things that I do. And you're so, also consulting a lot. I am. Right? I'm helping Boss Cuts Barbershop. Yes. So it's um, a, a local um, Samoan, Tahitian, and Brazilian guy who actually barbers in the daytime and DJs at night. That's right. And they were at the Mary Monarch. Mary Monarch, Which all my was, boys were performing. So yes, I know we were texting <laughs> during that time, but um, being able to have witnessed the, the Mary Monarch was just such an amazing, fascinating experience for me that we were able to share with our viewers of Kababayan today for our Kayamana ng Lahi special. Yeah, so yeah. I'm so happy that you're here, that we're getting to talk. I know you're researching for your next book. Let's tell I everybody am. about I it am. because I'm super excited about yeah, it. Yeah, okay. so um, a lot of what I'm doing now is about implementing the principles that I talk about in Young, Educated, and Broke. And a lot of that is getting politically active. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to run for public office or vote Democrat, Republican, or anything like that. It's about getting to the grassroots level and ensuring that you have a voice at the table and that you're voting, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really about getting out the vote on the island because we have some of the lowest voter turnout in the country. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing that I really am trying to do is get people more involved in that process. The second thing is I really believe for economic development to thrive locally, we have to support the local entrepreneurs. So I've started with this young millennial, Jason, who mm -hmm. owns Boss Cuts Barbershop, and I've taught him the fundamentals of building a business, and he's really thriving. I mean, we've doubled his revenue in, you know, three short months. Um, and it's all just through having systems and stuff that I've learned through my business background. But he has the intelligence and the, and the business acumen. It's just that he hasn't been offered the same education that maybe we have here on the mainland. That's right. Um, with that said, I've collaborated with uh, the new community college that they're building on the west side. Palo Manui is now being built and the kids mm -hmm. are going to have a science lab and a library for the first time. Very exciting. And it's supposed to open up in the fall. So we're super excited for the University of Hawaii um, Community College Palo Manui opening up. So I sit on the advisory uh, group for that, um, you know, and, and basically just doing these individual trainings for the students. What I've really realized is a lot of them are looking for balance in their lives. And that's why right now I'm doing a lot of the research mm -hmm. um, to figure out, okay, so we have people who are super driven and wanting to, you know, take over the world. And then we have other people who are just kind of complacent. And yeah, so really how do we really balance absolutely. our lives so we're not working so hard yes. and, and not just for the money, yeah. right, but really fulfillment, inner fulfillment. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, yeah, Jamie, for thanks, being Giselle. back here. You're welcome anytime. And like I said, the book is out. Watch out for her new book that's coming out when? We don't know yet. I'm okay. still working on it. No pressure here. Room. No pressure. <laughs> Just a fan, yeah. you know, waiting and expecting. But thank you so much for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you can find Jamie Borromeo. She's on social media. Let's uh, tell everybody where they can get in touch with you. So JamieBorromeo.com. Mm -hmm. I have all of my press and media, any of the videos that we've been, um, you know, producing while on tour. They're all there for you. Wonderful. Um, Twitter, I'm at Jamie Borromeo. Instagram, Instagram, at Jamie Borromeo. Right. So I would love for all of you to follow me. <laughs> all right, maraming mahalo. That was our Talk Story Tayo series. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you all again next time here on Kababayan Today. Salamat po. Mahalo.